And I need all of you to stop what you're doing and listen. Let's talk about something important. Put that coffee down. I'm not here to waste your time. Where else are you going to have this much <laughs> fun? You the man. You the man. Todd Father. Show me the money. What I've been doing. Had to trip on my bag. Had to trip on my bag. Wow. Had to trip on my bag. Wow. Had to trip on my bag. Yeah. Had to trip on my bag. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. Well, it's no trick to make a lot of money. All you want is to make a lot of money. Hey, good afternoon. What's going on, everybody? Dirk, old man, Mark. Yeah, Mark, we'll talk about TLT. That one, uh, as I showed on the Week in Review, uh, kind of screwy. Went from oversold to overbought quickly on the technometer. So not cool there. Higher interest rates might be uh, going to kill the stocks and maybe hurt crypto a little bit. So we will check that out. What's up, James? Solana. Bitcoin, 53,800, down 3,600. NASDAQ down, S&P down, what's up Hunter? And uh, Dow's turned around today, but I think still lower on stocks too. What's up Tom? So we got 220 people in here, let's wait a quick second. What's up Adam? Yeah Mark, I don't know, uh, that was a little weird, yeah. so. I got the charts here. We're going to go over that. 320. So uh, main screen, Bitcoin, Bitfinex. Uh, let me look at something here. Just checking the exact dates. There's so much going on. Because on 219, the technometer had reached over 50 on the 19th. I think that was around 8:30 at night, 8:45 at night. So this technometer just shows here. Really, it reached around 48, but it did get above uh, 50. 50.17, I recorded. Uh, excuse me, Bifinex, Bitcoin Bifinex technometer was 50.5. Now we're at 43, so a little bit below neutral. Still a ways to go to get a buy signal. Bitcoin USD consolidated volume from 140 exchanges. That technometer got to 50.17 on the 19th. Quick break on these things, as everybody knows, but technometer here is at 47. So I still think, and we'll show a little bit more, but I think really we just started kicking off the correction. I don't think that was it, even though I did have a roadmap showing that 47,000, 48,000 could be a low. So the slight chance for the bulls that maybe that was all of a fourth wave, but I'll show that here in a minute. Johnny Cool, 82,000 in a week. Whoa. And then uh, what else here? Ethereum got to around 47, 48 on the technometer. Uh, I got some counts on them. I just posted in the Discord. We'll talk about that as well. There's a crazy wick down to 715. Whatever that was, cracking Q coin somewhere. Oh, EOS is going to go to 82,000. Ethereum USD consolidated technometer now 43 after doing a 47 or 48. So again, still not a buy signal. Anybody new? I mean, we're waiting for our Wyckoff indicators to give us what we think is the low cost, low risk entry. And then we'll try to see where that fits in, maybe with an Elliott Wave roadmap. Ethereum USDT. Technometer neutral 44 after being around 48. So again, everything's neutral till still above neutral. 
There's Bitcoin, 54,000, which is a recovery high off that 47.5 low. Ethereum, 17.70. Litecoin, 206. So we're going to get a little bit of excitement right here, but I think we're still going to try to turn back down. That's cool, Johnny, if you pick some up. Let's, uh, let's go back and look at stocks here real quick. We opened down nicely on the Dow and uh, brought everything, trying to bring things back here. Here's the SPY. We gave a sell on Tuesday as marked by the red arrow. Uptrend line held this morning. I don't really think it will. Technometer lower right showing uh, overbought by the blue circle. We're back to 45.6. I still think stocks are trying to roll over. So, uh, I don't think that's done yet. Then we've got uh, DIA, the Diamond, Dow Jones ETF. It actually was a little bit oversold the last few days. The only thing that wasn't overbought. But now with the Dow reversing today, we've got that back to 49.3. So that's going to make it look a little bit more like maybe the Dow is putting in a fifth wave here. So again, I think Stocks still look lower. Let's look at uh, QQQ. See here, uptrend line touched this morning. Technometer 46. Again, I think that uptrend line is going to get toasted here. Here's Wyckoff Wave Growth Index. That trend line is starting to give away. Technometer 43. And then let's look at, a, I talked about Amazon looking like distribution. That one's had a nice two-day sell-off. Technometer 43. And then Tesla's one also, I said, maybe going to start underperforming. And uh, it broke down as well out of its previous support there at 788 or wherever that was. So some of those stocks I think are breaking down. Let's look at TLT. We thought TLT would bounce here. You can see steep downtrend, new lows right now. Technometer was oversold five days ago. We're back to overbought. I talked about that on the weekend review, but you can get for free at, at wycopsmi.com. Uh, that's a little precarious situation here. So I'm going to be watching that. I thought when stocks rolled down, maybe bonds would get a bid, but it looks like some of the sell-off on stocks is because of higher interest rate worries, because exactly what TLT is doing. So that uh, could be worrisome for the stock bulls and also would be extremely worrisome for crypto, I believe. Here's GDX. You know I've been short forever. And a big day today on the upside. Again, wasn't expecting that. Technometer was near oversold. So maybe we bounced just here for a day, day and a half, and then turn back down again. So I'm short, staying short. We'll go over some, anybody got any stock questions, we'll talk about that next. But right now we're going to go, uh, let's go and look at uh, some Bitcoin roadmaps. I had showed this in the Discord. First, let's go to the less bearish one. I had showed this. If you can see that, the green wave four, I had showed somewhere down around 47 to 48, where this green wave four could catch support. And uh, hold on, I got too many screens open. So again, back to Green wave four could have caught support this morning, meaning we're going up to maybe 60, 61,000 or something would be my guess. Again, with my technometer where it's at, that is not, you know, I might not get a buy, so maybe we already had that. So if, if so, then we missed the buy. I'm st I still kind of lean that the web, that the uh, count is really this count here, which means there's much more downside coming. 
previous fourth wave support is 32, 33,000. Bitcoin's held above support to not let anybody in. So maybe we're talking more like uh, 35, 36,000, maybe break 36,000 for a buy. 37,675 for a buy. So somewhere down there. So I'm still leaving that open, but that would mean Bitcoin needs to probably stop here uh, on this rally in the next few hours and turn back down again. So we will watch that. We're going to watch the technometers to see if they get down to more oversold. I just posted a couple uh, Ethereum roadmaps. I'd called fifth waves ending in some of these coins, which is why I was leaning bearish last week in the stocks and also in crypto. Sweet Levant. Appreciate that. That is a, a sweet short. It was early. It was nicer this morning for sure. But again, I think we're still see some downside here. So here's uh, Ethereum. Possible roadmap that would be really bearish. You can see a sell off clear down to 1200 to 1250. I had warned up there at 1950 that uh, we could turn down. So that has happened. Here's a uh, roadmap I've been showing for quite a while here. We could be in the middle of this uh, blue wave four, which could see support down around uh, below 1400 or so. So uh, again, more weakness there and Litecoin has been more of a dog. Previous, update that the way it's supposed to be. Hold on one second. Previous fourth wave support is down here at 125, 135. So uh, that could see much lower prices still, if I'm correct. What's up, Ted? The three charts I showed for Bitcoin, I mean, I've showed the white charts that I showed is uh, Bitcoin USD consolidated from 140 exchanges. I also showed Bitcoin USD and I also showed Bitcoin Bifinex, which we use for technometer readings, if that's what you meant. Otherwise, uh, on some of these, I'm just giving uh, diff different possible Elliott Wave counts. And I'm leaning again more bearish because our Wyckoff indicators are not saying that was a low this morning. So uh, if you're extremely bullish, that could have been the low, but again, I don't believe so. Comp USD is not in my software, but I will look at that. Uh, again, my developers uh, haven't been doing what I need done, so we're waiting on that. Here is Comp USD. Hopefully, that'll be good enough. I mean, again, I think Comp is a strong one. That is probably a spring if it can hold in here. I mean, other support would be down at 338. So if we have, if we work much lower on uh, the generals here, then I think probably comp would come down to 330. But uh, that could be a higher level reaccumulation. So I need some of these back in the software. I'm trying to get my uh, guys from Ukraine to get that down. They haven't done it yet. Let me check uh, while I'm here. There's Cody USDT having a nice bounce off this morning's low. But again, I still think probably sideways here on some of these. AVAX. Is that a coin? Because I'm not aware of that one. Here's AVAX. BUSD, let's look at uh, AVAX USD on Binance. Down 10%. Pretty big sell off. Again, I think it matters what the general market does here on these cryptos. So, uh, big rally on that and a nice little ABC pullback. So, I wouldn't be scared of it. But I would add on if it fell off some here a little bit. 
we'll go back to uh, our software. I've got Link in there, so let's look at Link USD Consolidated. Looks like a uh, fat finger on that this morning, down to 13. Disregard that one, I'm sure. Uh, Technometer 43. Quite a bit of selling in the LP, so uh, I would still like a link when I have a buy signal on Bitcoin. Link USDT, let's look at that. Bitcoin 54,300. Recovery high off this morning's slap. That one's not coming up. Let's go to EOS USD Consolidated. Nice wick down to three dollars is showing on the EOS USD pair. See technometer 41, lower right. Not oversold, but getting closer. LP hitting new lows. So again, some of these I wouldn't mind owning, but I'd rather add on on a little bit more weakness. Nice little sideways there on EOS on the USDT technometer. 43.1, so not a buy as of yet. Zen. I don't have a Zen. Uh, this isn't going to be consolidated. Technometer 47. Zen's been a strong one. We still like that. That's one that Nick still likes. So, uh, again, buy a pullback or wait till we get a buy on Bitcoin. Bullish scenario on Bitcoin would be the uh, that the wave forward just ended. That low this morning came down to the. Uh, and this is a roadmap that I showed in the Discord. That's the bullish one, where the wave four ended this morning, and we're going to new highs again. Let's just say sixty thousand or something, and then still a bigger pullback before a bigger rally to, uh, let's just say, 75,000 plus. And the Discord, BNB was a big winner for Nick. He bought that at 21 to 28. Sold uh, the last few days, really around these levels, a little bit higher. Trying to get it back this morning, down around 200, didn't get it done yet. Bake has been a big one, still holding in pretty well. Cake, he bought that at 265. That one's holding in pretty well. SXP was a buyer down at a dollar. Pretty big correction off the highs, but still liking that one as well. So hopefully we'll get some uh, decent ads on those at lower prices. Patreon.com slash learn crypto if you want $40 a month trade ideas. Here's dot USDT down 7%. Big rally there from 4 to 40. That one looks higher. Would like to buy a dip. Solana, I do not know, James. I got Solana USD at FTX. Nice one if you're on that one, which I guess you are. Wyckoff wants you to be long uh, relative strength, so that would be it. Nice recovery uh, from this morning's sell-off. I would think that would have to have uh, a lot higher to go. Way too much strength. What's up, Thomas? Seraf, yeah, I mean, we're looking for some type of ABC correction on these things. So, again, that could have been it all this morning. 
That's not my favorite count. Here's ZRX USD. Nice little high level consolidation. All these, I think we got to just see what uh, the uh, large caps do here to give us a go ahead on these, but everything still looks higher ultimately. XMR has been a nice one as well. Here's XMR USDT after a big sell off this morning. 290 down to 190, back to 227. I would think again that one's still going to go higher as well. Bitcoin 54,229. Let me run a quick disclaimer here. Keep my regulators off of me. Hold on a second. There is a high degree of risk involved in trading cryptocurrencies. Our thoughts and ideas are for entertainment purposes only. Please consult your personal advisor or do your own research. Past results are not indicative of future returns. Thank you. Hold on here. QQQ, yeah, I think stocks are still going to roll over here. So we've got, uh, well, we've got the Dow now. Dow's up 96. S&P's down 20. We are short the S&P here for uh, members. Long TLT, which is hurting us a little bit today. Matic. USD consolidated. Again, the software brings in volume from around 140 exchanges, so we're trying to give a really good read on volume because our technometer and OP is based on volume. Technometer 46.28. Good buy volume on Matic, supporting the rally. So uh, same thing, higher, but maybe a little bit lower first. KCS was a pork blaster. Cool. Got to like that. While you're saying that, might want to get you a pork blaster t-shirt at learncryptomerch.com. Got to like that pork blaster t-shirt. Learn crypto, M-E-R-C-H dot com. Shout out to Chris C. Ish, taking care of that. Mike, let's go back to, because uh, I talked about this as well. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go to CGC. We caught the first objectives on the uh, objectives for the rally. I talked about possibly we could see uh, a pullback to the 618, which is around 36.73. So now we've done that. Technometer 40.69 nearing oversold, where it was last time when this rally got into high gear at 26. So. Uh, I think if you want to take a little bit of risk, CGC somewhere down here could uh, be some value. Live show from the club. They are back open now, so we might be able to do that. Here's Tilray. T 
Tilray technometer 41.68 was uh, close to oversold two days ago at this level. So again, I think Tilray probably down here uh, has some value. I'm bearish on the general stock market, so I won't be giving that a buy to any of my subscribers. But if you're looking for an entry in some of the marijuana stocks here, it might work. Sounds good, Levon. Core sales are kind of picking up a little bit here. We're working on a few things behind the scenes to bring some more value. So, uh, that's where we're at, guys. Bitcoin 54,180. What's up, Martin Max? Matthew. So uh, we're looking for stocks to still work lower. Here's the SPY chart. I've talked about uptrend line, I think, going to give away here. It caught it this morning. Stocks lower. I think that drags down Bitcoin. TLT is looking a little bit strange. That could hurt crypto. That could hurt uh, crypto as well. So I'm still leaning short on uh, crypto here. If our technometers get down to oversold on Bitcoin, then we'll have to figure out why we can make a bounce here for that. So uh, I think we work a little bit lower. So That is all I got. I've had two hours sleep and I've had nothing to eat. So... Uh, I'm going to wrap it up and probably here tomorrow at 2 o'clock, same time, unless we just move sideways. DGB I'm going to show because that's one that Nick has been off and on. And I got some clients in that one. So DGB. DGB USD. Technometer 40.7, as oversold as it's been since back at the lows of 0.024. So that one at some point also I'd be on. Aaron, let me give you a wrench. Welcome on the show. Bitcoin 54,070, Ethereum 1777, Litecoin 206. So XTZ, I will show that as well. XTZ, technometer 39, lower right. You can see that's as oversold as it's been going back the last three months. So I would think that one would catch itself as well. OP hitting new lows while price holds. So XTZ uh, wouldn't bother me ever. I did show Link a little bit, a little bit ago. I would say Link, uh, same thing. Ultimately higher, if not a little uh, lower first. I'd buy any of these once I get a buy signal on Bitcoin. So you're going to need to join Learn Crypto or Patreon.com slash Learn Crypto to get it live. Once we uh, got positions filled and things, and a lot of times I will go on Twitter or I'll be on YouTube. So play at your own risk. What's up, Bamboo? So that's all I got. Stocks lower, crypto, I think still a little bit lower. Do your own research. This is not investment advice, and uh, we will catch you tomorrow. I'm going to run a couple commercials here to pay the light bill, and uh, we will catch you later. Thanks. Discord channel. By subscribing to our pro traders at YCOPSMI.com, You'll receive individual stock suggestions based upon the Wyckoff method, review possible trade setups, as well as receive emails when any trade suggestions are given.
But if you're too busy to manage your own stock portfolio, consider our private client group at our registered investment advisor, Black Bay Capital Advisors. You'll get the personal touch while we manage your stock portfolio for you through the trusted custodian, Charles Schwab. For an annual fee, you'll have more time to enjoy life while we focus on growing your portfolio. We'll be on the same side of the table, working to help you secure your long-term financial goals. Warren Buffett, American investor, business tycoon, and one of the wealthiest people in the world once said, if you don't find a way to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. But how is that possible? Well, knowledge is power. In 2020, it is no longer news that cryptocurrencies are the currency of the digital future. Bitcoin stability amidst unprecedented global economic impacts from COVID-19 has proven once again that crypto is here to stay. Learning how to trade, when to trade, and where to trade crypto assets can make the difference between success and failure. At LearnCrypto.io, we offer a pathway to sustainable and lifelong wealth by helping open-minded beginners and experienced traders navigate the thin ice of the cryptocurrency markets. Live shows, interviews, coin reviews, fundamental analysis, predictive trading bots, and open chat access to a community of real traders. These are just a few of the benefits you'll receive with a membership on patreon.com forward slash learn crypto. Sign up today if you strive to build yourself a brighter tomorrow. We'll see you all again. Sleep tight. Let's see you.